welcome to a new video! Yahoo! We're still in the Netherlands and we're still at home, hopefully like everyone else. And we're trying to entertain ourselves. We wake up every day, we have breakfast, we do a little workout, we have lunch, we do emails, we have dinner, we watch TV and news, and then we go to bed. <laughs> A very weird time to live in right now but i feel like we're gonna survive this i hope everybody stays in and has the discipline to like not see others and do what's best for other people and yourself i think in the last video there was a little bit of a misunderstanding about me going out and see my family while i didn't have the results back of the test i would never do that so I filmed all the clips with family and everything before I told you guys that I didn't have the results. So it was the wrong order. I would never do that. And I just stayed inside until I had the results back. So as of now, I just had breakfast and I sat a little bit in the backyard. I'm still at Lawrence, his parents' place. And I think we're going to do a workout any moment in the backyard. That's a great thing because we went to their place because it's more fun, of course, but also because they have a huge backyard. And in our apartment in Amsterdam, we don't. So I'm still able to be a little bit outside. Are you ready? I'm ready, Freddy! <laughs> she lost her mind because we've been inside for a week. <laughs> Okay guys, yes, I can't go to Harry Josh that usually does my hair. It's getting very dark. I got this no yellow shampoo and a no yellow mask. So it's like a purple shampoo and a purple mask. But I'll try to make it a little less yellow. I never really used it, so I'm very curious if it works. Because right now it's getting very dark. As you can see, especially on top. So I'm gonna experience. And it says the shampoo leave in for one to five minutes. And then the mask after the shampoo for three to five minutes. But maybe if I do them both, it will turn purple. Maybe I'll just start with the shampoo. Anyhow, I'm gonna let you guys know how it goes. Okay guys, I'll first start with the shampoo. No idea how much to use. Lawrence always thinks I use way too much shampoo i guess this should be fine i have a lot of hair so it's so purple oh my god can you imagine if i wash it out and my hair is purple and then i have to leave it for one to five minutes i'll do five meanwhile i will wash my body shave and then I can rinse it out. Alright, we are back. Okay, so this is shampoo. And now I'm debating if I should do the mask. Oh, is it getting a little... Apparently I'm showering a little too hot. But the mask says, put on disposable gloves and apply to the lens and the end of towel dry hair. Leave on for three to five minutes. Okay, putting on the gloves. You know what I really like right now is that I'm showering so much more chill than I used to because I feel like I always shower in a rush because you always have to go somewhere and like you need to do something and now I feel like I'm not in a rush. I'll dry it a little. And then I'll wait three to five minutes. So I'll continue showering. Very chilly now because I put the shower off for a second. I think it made a difference. What do you guys think? Guys, how cute are these? My avocado um, ones are broken, so I got new ones. I really like them. Alpacas. So it's 4 p.m. now and I did my hair and makeup because we're taking a photo because Taylor nominated me to do or challenged me to do the I stay home challenge. So I wanted to take a photo in the backyard. And I think the silver shampoo did really well because it's a little blonder, not purple. So I'm happy with it. I think I'll do it a couple times and I'll be fine. Hey, how are you? 
I'm good. How are you? I'm a little bored. So am I. Okay, so I'm giving it another try because I didn't see a lot of results from doing it in the shower. So my mom said do the mask in dry hair. So I put it in dry hair and I'm gonna leave it for 30 minutes. But oh my god, if this is gonna stay blue, that will be a problem. My lips are so dry and I've been putting Vaseline and Rosebud for like weeks and nothing helps. So if you guys have a tip of what product helps with dry lips, let me know. Good morning, it's another day at home. And this morning, we made some banana pancakes. So I'll share the recipe, it's super, super easy. And we made a little dressing sauce with coconut milk and blueberries. Okay, I went for a 30 minute run this morning. Now it's time to lunch. Salad with, I think I showed this before, dressing of like hummus, nutritional yeast, lemon, garlic powder. And then some water or almond milk, yeah. apple, tuna, red pepper, and almonds. So, bon okay, so we have to decide what kind of stones we want at the outside of our new house. So there are three options. This is very purplish. This is like beige. And this is white. What do you think? This one. Yeah. I think so too. I think this is too white. We're gonna get a roof from, I don't know what's called in English, but I'll put a picture here. So I think it's gonna be this color. Let us know what you guys like most because we have a lot of time. This side. Good morning. I am gonna make an almond milk cappuccino. I love oat milk, but sometimes I love the taste of like not sweet coffee. Like a little more bitter, I think. I was thinking, but we gave up our New York apartment like two months ago. So we stopped the rent and like we took all our stuff away. I'm so happy we did that because now in New York, it's so crazy. I would have hated it to still have my apartment there and be here and not be able to go for so long. So I'm very happy that we're here in the Netherlands and that we gave up the apartment on time. I just spoke to my friend Daphne yesterday who was in New York and she said it's like so weird to be here because usually New York is like super crowded and busy and now there's like no one on the street and there are so many cases. They built an extra hospital in Central Park. It's very crazy. I wonder how long it's gonna take before I can travel there again. Not that that's the most important thing because I do realize more after all of this that we don't need as much in our lives and also i find it so interesting to see like what happened with the nature and everything and with the air and everything it's so much fresher i saw a picture of like china before the coronavirus and then a picture of china after the difference in air was so crazy so i definitely want to fly less because i know flying is like very bad for the environment but it's also part of my work so i still probably need to do some but i'll try to do so much less for example to paris we would take a car or anywhere we can drive does anyone ever play mario kart on the nintendo switch because lawrence is addicted and i like it too but i'm not as good so maybe that's why i like it a little less it's very entertaining in times like this guys i'm gonna try to take off my acryl nails because one of them is broken already so I ordered like these clips I have this, this nail polish remover with acetone this, I also ordered a thing to like scrape it off but now I'm afraid it hasn't been delivered yet okay so I'm just gonna try it without the thing I'll figure it out how I'm gonna do it How do I do my other hand now? Good morning guys! So it's another day in quarantine. I have really slow mornings to be honest because I just wake up and I feel like having a cappuccino and like chill a little bit and be on my phone, what is totally fine. But usually I'm like up and I go work out but I love it this way. So we're doing so mornings and then i had a smoothie and then i went for a little workout in the backyard for about 
30 to 40 minutes it was really nice because i feel like i get so much more motivation once i move my body because before i'm always like i never feel like it actually and then when i start moving i get into it and then i think the rest of the day we're gonna do some fun tiktok videos i feel like everybody is doing a lot of tiktok videos because it's so entertaining and it's just fun to do i'm very addicted to scrolling to tiktok because there's so many fun videos and i feel like it's more fun to look at at this moment than instagram photos because instagram photos tend to be like super perfect and like the perfect picture and there's not a lot happening and then on tiktok videos people are just like making fun and doing funny things so it's i have more of a laugh so yeah that's why i love it so much and i wanted to do a very quick easy makeup so not like my full updated makeup routine but just something i do when i'm at home and i just put some moisturizer on and i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury light wonder in the color 4.5 it's fair because i'm very fair at the moment because the sun hasn't been out here in holland and i use my beauty blender oh yesterday i took off my acrylic nails and my nails are so bad now like they're like paper it's they look horrible so i'm gonna let them rest and i ordered some nail hardener different stuff to strengthen my nails a little so i hope that's gonna help usually i never put on my forehead because i feel like it's pretty even on my forehead and i have to say the inflammation on my cheeks went down a lot and honestly i think it's because i'm traveling way less because usually my skin gets very inflamed here and i haven't changed much of my food or anything and also i feel more rested even like when I'm flying, I always get a sore throat. I would say like once a month. Even when I take like vitamin C on the plane and like make sure I'm like covered really well. Do I dip Vaseline on my nose because I've heard the bacteria can go in your nose. But every time I took a long haul flight, I would get sick. Now I haven't had it for a while. So that's great. So because the Light Wonder foundation is a little bit shiny, I'm going to use the Laura Mache translucent powder. Then I'm doing my eyebrows and I love my eyebrows up so I always brush them up first and then I'm using this I think it's called Lasting Two Way Eyebrow Liquid Tattoo and it's called K Palette it looks like this I ordered it on Amazon because I think it comes from China now it's almost empty but it makes like very nice little hairs I'm so blind so I have to go in the mirror but then you guys can see it I'm just gonna do this quickly here. I'm very into the bushy eyebrows where they're like fully up. But Lawrence is always like, when I do it, some hairs are longer so they stick out a little bit. But I kind of like that look. So he's always like, what did you do with your eyebrows? He doesn't like it. So what do you guys prefer? Like very, how do you call it, neat eyebrows? Or more like the bushy ones? And then I'm using 011 from Dior. It's called Plump and Brow. Looks like this. It has a little bit of color. Also really love the benefit ones. He tells me he wants me. And then I either finish off with beauty counter gels, just like no color gel. Or what I've been recently doing is the soap brow. So it's like soap. It looks like this. And you spray it with any kind of mist so it gets a little wet and then it comes with a thing like this and you go in there and the soap gets like whoop, liquid and then you put it in your eyebrows and i have to say my eyebrows stay up like pretty much all day unless i put a sweater on that's why i hate like dressing after i do my makeup because it always destroys my eyebrows okay here we go and then curling my lashes and i'll use this kevin alquan i think it's a sculpting powder in the color medium but i use it above my eyes to like contour my eyes a little and then i also use it on my cheeks so i'm using a brush like this go in there and i keep my eyes open and i go in the crease like this then i'm using my contour brush to oh no this is the bronzer brush this is the contour brush i think this brush is from rt200 i forgot the brand it's a really nice one and i go in here i really like this one because it's not 
orange as you can see it's very brownish i have to blend it but it's a good one and then i blend it with my favorite brush it's called it's the it cosmetics and it looks like this and i blend it okay so this is pretty much a no makeup kind of look because i think i'm not going to put any mascara today but usually when i put mascara i use the brother lash from benefit because it's a very thin one and i feel like it gets your lashes very separated i'm just going to add some blush and i'll do a little bit of lip and then we're ready to go so this is the nars overlust cheek palette and i use the color get lost because it's very peachy it's the middle one and i do not like too much pink on my cheeks so i'm gonna use this one then a little bit of highlighter on the nose and this one is called tom ford shade and illuminate and i use the top one just with my finger and do like this sometimes i put a little here and then i mostly use the marc jacobs nude lip liner you guys have seen this one before i think it's still my favorite one so and then i'm adding a little bit of this charlotte tilbury lip gloss i think it's the color refresh rose very sparkly and i think that's gonna be it for today pretty easy you can add some mascara if you want you can also put some of the contour i put on my cheeks and my eyes under your eye i love nothing under my eye then we're ready to go oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the last time I did this is, I think, maybe four years ago. So I have like a lot of uh, protection. So when I fall. Okay, guys, that was a vlog. It wasn't the most entertaining vlog because it's kind of hard to film at home. I hope you guys are all still safe and well. And let me know if you guys have ideas to do at home. And I hope to see you guys very soon.